You must be having a lovely morning. <laughs> hey, no, just getting started. Is it just getting started? Because it looks like the two of you have been engaged in general merriment for quite some time now. Did he just say merriment? I think he did. Yes, I said merriment, because that's what happens when I spend too much time with my mother, and I blame you two for it. So how was uh, dinner last night? Ooh, long. We spent two and a half hours going over a costume lineup for the show, all so that the two of you could sneak off to some secret dance rehearsal behind her back like a pair of dirty con artists. Hey, listen, David, your mom is a great director. She's just not used to working with amateur dancers. Yeah, last week she told me to dance like an Indonesian scarf caught in the wind. I don't even know what that looks like. This money number is so complicated that if we don't get the outside help, mm. we will be laughed off stage. You've seen me dance. Yes, you have legs like tree trunks. We knew that going into this. Thank you. Okay, we just have one more private session with Derek, and then it's done. One more session? I thought last night was the last session. Well, we couldn't nail the final lift. What is this, dirty dancing? David, please, just keep her distracted for one more night. No, no, it's too much. Okay, then I guess we can just tell her we're getting outside help. Good luck. When she was coaching me for the Little Mr. pageant, I made the mistake of going to Mario Lopez for advice. He was hosting at the time. Anyway, she found out, felt so betrayed, she forgot to double knot my tap shoes and cost me the crown. So, I will cover for you for one more night, but that is it. This better be worth it. Excuse me, I have a job to do. Oh. so good in here. What's the occasion? Brunch that we were supposed to make together. Oh, don't worry, babe. I've already eaten. So I guess I'll just have your plate for dinner then. Mm, yum. Uh, hey, so I was thinking about maybe going to work a little bit later today. <gasps> Yay, if that means more teddy time for me, then yes. No, actually, I've been thinking about maybe taking a, a longer break from work. I'm listening. What if we got out of town? Just the two of us. Like Thelma and Louise? Nope. Uh, no, I was thinking somewhere more exotic, like, I don't know, somewhere that would have beaches for you and some interesting wildlife for me. Okay. I've just been to Miami so many times before, and trust me, the wildlife is not as sexy up close. No, I'm talking about farther away, like, I don't know, the Galapagos Islands. I love that. Really? Yes, as a jumping off point, yes. But if we're thinking islands, why don't we do something less sleepy and scary, like the Maldives? Definitely something to consider. And I guess while we're just spitballing here, you know, it could be kind of fun to go somewhere that you've never been before. Like, I don't know, the Galapagos Islands. Yes, Ted. An island somewhere for sure. We just need to figure out where. <clears throat> but I'm so glad we're on the same page about this. Yeah, yeah. And, and what page is that? Well, we both agree that we want to get away, and we both agree that we're going to land on somewhere so good. Hey, Johnny. I heard the news. Boy, we are really going to miss Moira tonight at the annual mayor's roast. I was looking forward to getting scorched. Oh, yeah, well, she's going to miss it, too. Yeah, I mean, when she starts going off, oh, my God, you better have the burn unit on speed dial. I mean, get the fire extinguishers ready, because she is just slinging heat, which ultimately becomes fire. Yeah, I get it. I get it. She can, she can be funny on occasion. Yeah. It's okay, though. I got uh, Bob's cousin, Louie, from Elm County. He's going to come in and fill in for her, so. Yeah, well, Louie's the last guy that should be driving in for tonight. Uh, no, I, I, uh... I'm more than capable of uh, taking Moira's place. Johnny, I don't think so. Those are pretty high heels to fill. Well, don't you worry about me. I've, uh, I've handled myself pretty well, humorously speaking, in front of large crowds before. Jeez, if you bring up that Rose Video shareholders meeting again. You better be spending this time toughening your skin, because I've got more than a few rippers up my sleeve for tonight. Okay, um, first off, I have no idea what rippers are. Maybe you'd know if you graduated elementary school. <laughs> I can't believe you said that to me. Oh, Roland, I'm sorry, did I? Was that too far? <laughs> Look at your face! Oh, Roland, I'm sorry, did I go too far? <laughs> oh, pal, you are gonna get eaten alive tonight.
I'm walking home. Don't tell me the store is already laying off people. No, Patrick sent me home to get a check that apparently is tax for the government and not, as I assumed, a bonus for me. Well, I'm glad I caught you, because I got your missive about wanting to sup this evening, and I'm afraid I must decline. What? Why? Why? David, full disclosure, you have been awfully clingy of late. Ugh. I think it might be propitious for you to spend some time with your peers. What's Patrick doing tonight, or Stevie? They're, um, busy. Busy? Well, rehearsals end sharply at six, so either one of them should be free to dine with you thereafter. I just don't think they're available tonight. Hmm. Too tired. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They've both been struggling. Yeah, that's, that's it. Your choreography has been working them so hard, they basically just go home and fall asleep, so Actually, your show is stripping me of a social life. Oh, all right, David, but it'll have to be a working repast. I could use your eye for the final design of the posters. Okay, you employ the wrong font, and you may as well bid Alvita send a ticket sales. Can't wait. Until then, dear. We're both going home, though. What the hell? Alexis, you don't need to do those dishes. Didn't I just put them on the counter? Um. I also found this on the counter, Charles Darwin Research Center. What is this? Oh, uh, nothing, just, just some work stuff. It says you were one of 10 people selected for a research program. Oh, what? That's crazy. Is that why you kept bringing up those islands this morning? Oh, the Galapagos Islands? Uh, not necessarily, no. Ted, why else would anyone want to go there? You mean other than wanting to study some of the rarest and most diverse forms of plant and animal life on the planet? Uh, yeah, I guess you have a point. You are selected out of thousands of applicants. Just means that they'll have plenty of people to pick from when I don't accept. Ted, why didn't you tell me you were doing this? Because I applied before we got back together and it takes a couple years to process the applications. A couple years? It sounds important. Well, listen, it's... It's not not important, but I can I can always apply again. You know, Emmett the tortoise is 180 years old, so I'm sure he'll still be around in another few years. You love old tortoises. That sounds like a dream. How long is the program? Six months. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't want to push it on you this morning, okay? Because you mean way more to me than some dumb once-in-a-lifetime job opportunity. Dad, I don't know what to say. Like, I'd totally think about it, but like, my laptop's here. Okay, honestly, just don't worry about it. What about long distance? I once maintained a successful semi-committed text relationship with Josh Hartnett while he was shooting Pearl Harbor. Okay, Alexis, I appreciate your creative problem solving, but yeah, I, I wouldn't stay if I didn't feel like it was, it was the right choice for me. Babe, are you sure? Yes. But are you sure, sure? Because I don't want you to not go, like, just because of me. Okay, Alexis, that's exactly what's happening, but it's fine, okay? And I told you that it's fine, so it's, it's fine. Okay. 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 So we're all good, then. That was a good talk for everyone. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do those dishes. Babe, do you have a dishwasher? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna figure it out then. Okay. <sighs> Sounds like someone's in a good mood. What, me? Oh, <laughs> sorry, you know, those days where you're just like super in love. Hmm, not really. You will. Anyway, I'm just thinking about Ted and me. Can't believe we've come such a long way, you know? Aw. I just feel so lucky to be with someone who would do anything for me. Like, I just found out that he got this crazy job opportunity and he's turning it down just to be with me. Wow. That is lucky. He was one of 10 people picked out of like 10,000. Oh my God, and he's not going? No, I think his perspective was that there would be other opportunities. Still. 
That must be totally heartbreaking for him. But I guess relationships are all about sacrifice. Oh my God, yes. Ted and I are so good at that whole give and take thing. Mm. Like he gives me so much and I have learned to take as well. And I'm sure you give things up for him all the time as well. Totally. But also he never really asks me to, so that's hard for me to do for him. But if he did, I would. Oh, so he didn't ask you to go with him? Not technically. Okay. One day I hope I find a guy like Ted. Someone who would literally put all their hopes and dreams aside to be with me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the chat, Twy. Like my little fairy godmother if she wore an apron and Celine Dion's perfume. Oh, so I've got a lot of good material here. I just need some help sifting out the gold. I still don't see why you dragged us into this. Well, you can be a tough audience, Ronnie. What's that supposed to mean? See? That's what I'm looking for, honest reactions. Well, I, I've been honestly reacting quite strongly to your aftershave. It's a, a bit too European for my taste. Not the most helpful feedback, Bob. Look, now that you've trapped us here, just... What, what do you got, Johnny? OK, here we go. Well, it's 1791, and three explorers have landed. Next. I was flipping through the phone book the other day, and. The phone book? How old are these? Well, you were not even letting me get to the punchlines, Ronnie. John, you, you need a search and rescue team to find the punchlines for those setups. Ah. Top 10 things you don't want Roland to be in charge of. 10 too many. Johnny, you gotta be short and quick, like Roland in the bedroom. <laughs> that, that one kills every year. <laughs> oh, no, I love that one. Is that one up for grabs? No. You gotta go for the juggler. Just stay away from spouses, kids, and health, and you'll be fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back to work, which up until now was the most boring part of my day. Oh, I'd love to use that Roland in the bedroom joke. Fine, but I have a feeling it ain't gonna help you. <laughs> Man, when she's on fire, look out. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen me on fire, Bob. I'm glad I let you talk me into another dinner, David. That note you had about including my name on the poster as a sales tool, that's something I've been debating for some time now. Well, your name was already on all the mock-ups, so it was really more of an observation. That reminds me, I must pop by the rehearsal space. Jocelyn said some color samples were dropped off today. OK, yeah, I, mm, I, don't, know if, I don't know if I need to see color samples. You just showed me all the mock-ups. But the printers require my sign-off first thing, David. Well, it's, it's late. I mean, it's, it's 7.15. Are you sure you sh should be walking over there? Alone at this hour? OK, David. No more true crime TV before bed for you. <laughs> I refuse to buy you another nightlight. Okay. Well, why don't I just pick them up for you, then? Oh, God. OK, be careful. When you haven't any cold, when you haven't any crease in the winter, and you curse 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 in the winter, and you Money makes the world go round the clanking, clanking sound of money, 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 get a little, get a little money, 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 Ms. Rose, this is Derek. He's been just helping us practice the steps to the number. And how long have you all been moonlighting? It's, it's about a week. It's a really fun piece. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. This is gonna... Yeah. It's okay. nice. Thanks, Derek. So all this time I thought... Poor David thought that you were home resting your instruments. Oh. I'm so disappointed. 
Sorry, David. Sorry, David. Okay. However, in the business of show, skullduggery, when it leads to such thrilling results, a pinch of moral corruption is a small price to pay. <laughs> it's, oh, it's good. Yeah, I think so. You choreographed this? Uh, I loosened the pickle jar. Derek merely popped the lid. Very impressed. Was not embarrassed at all. I thought I would be. So sweet. <laughs> I didn't like how we left things this morning. Me neither. I'm the one that should be sorry. No, I should have been more direct, and we should have just talked this through. And I actually did some research on the Maldives, and there's this beautiful resort that we could stay at. It just means we might have to work there part-time to cover the cost. But I feel like I could teach windsurfing. Of course you've done research on this trip. But you've done too much for me already. You do too much for me. And so, I think it's time that I give something back to you. My Fitbit? No, I lost that. But the last thing I want to do is stand between you and this job. You've worked so hard, and I'm so proud of you. And so, yes, Ted Mullins, I will go to the Cayman Islands with you. Uh, you mean the Galapagos? Get wherever the turtles are. Are you sure, sure? No, but yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis, you continue to amaze me. I can't wait to do this with you. Oh, we're gonna need to get shots. Yes, let's celebrate. Uh, no, no, I meant, like, uh, vaccinations. Mm. Yeah, just because we'll be spending a lot of time in tents and there could be disease-carrying insects around, so... Okay, okay. Um, this is still very fresh. I made this decision, like, two minutes ago. So, why don't we focus more on the beach and less on the details? Fair enough. When it comes to making decisions, Roland likes to go with his gut. And boy, does he have a lot of gut to go with. Oh! <laughs> yes, I do. Hey, look at Bob pretending to get it. And we all know Gwen, he hasn't gotten it in years. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ronnie is just crushing it. I mean, you know, everybody really has so far. OK, OK, that's all I got. For now. So, I'm just gonna hand it over to the one who wears the pants in the Rose family. But Moira is not here right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass it over to Johnny. All right, Johnny! Come on, get on up there. Let's see what you got up that starch sleeve of yours. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I've got up my sleeve, Roland. A few tasty little rippers that, uh, are more palatable than anything Jocelyn's been serving up tonight, so... Hey, is that a crack about my cooking? From the guy who's had four helpings? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Bob's joking about me having four helpings. We all know if you've ever taken your car to Bob's garage, he's not necessarily known for helpings anyone. <laughs> well, anyway, a couple of little improvs there to get started, but, uh, uh... What was I saying? Nothing funny so far. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny, come on, I got a white flag. Why don't you just start waving it? Oh. Yeah, Roland, uh, may I point out that I was quiet when everyone else was up here doing their roasts? I wish you were quiet right now. <laughs> uh, now things seem to be going downhill fast, which is what the town must have been thinking when Roland elected himself mayor. <laughs> Okay, I'll give him that. Oh, got a smile out of Ronnie. The last time anyone saw her this happy was at a three-for-one sale on cargo pants. Whoa! <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> All right, Johnny, starting to make some moves now. Cargo. I said cargo, which is what a car is supposed to do, unless you take it to Bob's garage. <laughs> Well, listen, I don't want to overstay my welcome. I'll keep things short and quick. Which reminds me of the last time I was in Roland's bedroom. Um, well, I, I, I wasn't in Roland's bedroom, but the... Uh, what was it, Ronnie? Just sit down, Johnny. Well, anyway, the punchline is it was short and quick. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, folks. <laughs> 
I think it's a little late for that, pal. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs>no i wish you guys could have been there tonight i was really ripping into them yes i'm sure you killed them dear with all the venom of a silkworm oh you know what moira jealousy doesn't look good on you much like that mirror jumpsuit you wore to candy spelling's 50th john oh my god dad why don't you take it easy alexis like you did with your education <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Oh, and look at David, smart enough to get that joke, but not smart enough to stop wearing sweaters in the middle of summer. <gasps> Burn, David. Okay, here's why that joke didn't work. And look at you, John. A worthy competitor emerges. Something the good people at Blockbuster never said about Rose video. <laughs> that was slow. Like David's standards. <laughs> or the placement of Alexis's back tattoo. Alexis has a back tattoo? Alexis, what have you done to yourself? It says, that's hot, in Cantonese. Got it in Hong Kong. Ugh. I was 12 years old.